Kaunti ya Tariva. Moving on to the second question uh, about harassment of, uh, of tourists and visitors at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. It is a, a real concern that I've spoken about. I'd like to inform this house that uh, Senator, uh, the minister, sorry, former senator, the minister uh, for uh, roads and transport held a very important meeting with this team and he has initiated procedures and changes that will be undertaken to make sure that the airport is operating properly in many ways, from its physical perspective, to the way the operations run, to the way visitors are received. We're working closely together as one team uh, of government and the Kenya Kwanzaa government, and we are going to ensure that this does not happen. Yes, definitely, when people feel harassed, uh, there's a problem. I was telling the members, I was telling the Commissioner General of KRA, that you always have to look at the bigger picture. That uh, most of us, when you're growing up, were given the duty of running after chicken. So we could catch the chicken whenever we had a visitor, so the chicken could be slaughtered. And you could run all over and try to cut the chicken. But at times we saw what our fathers did. Instead of running after the chicken, they just used maize. And uh, they would drop, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, one, one, what do you call it? One seed of maize, you can call it a seed of maize, and the chicken would bite it, another one, another one, another one, and you get close, 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 and they catch, uh, and they're able to get hold of the chicken. You don't calculate the cost of the chicken, because the cost of the maize, because if you concentrate on the small pieces of, you know, maize comb, you lose the bigger chicken. So we're trying to tell them that, uh, yes, at times you may want people to be charged for this and this, but let's look at the bigger picture. Furthermore, uh, I realize that they have been harassing people who don't need to be harassed. For example, you carry your phone. I was there just the other day. Uh, I was visiting. I was, I was uh, traveling. And I saw them stop a lady who just had uh, two old phones in her bag. And they made her open her bag. What's, what's the deal about having two or three phones? You are to allowed to have two or three phones? And it's different. If you are carrying a package of phones to sell, you need to pay duty. You are carrying your own individual phones and they can tell they're not in a package, why do you even need to stop the person to verify that? So there's a lot of education that needs to go to our people that we are working together to be able to raise enough uh, system. But work is being implemented, and the, the future is bright. Uh, about the, 